okay so let's take a look at how you can install powershell on ubuntu linux so these days uh, most of the people are installing packages through snap store so we will do the same we will go to snapcraft and go through store and here i can type in powershell and here we can go to official microsoft teams page and there you see powershell you can choose the version let's see this latest table and copy this and then we will open terminal okay there is also another method which involves powershell github right you can go there and powershell team and here you will find a leisure tab where you can scroll and find the version for ubuntu or debian right and then go through that dot dev installation option so i will stick with this particular option of installing through snap store right simply copy this command and paste it on your terminal base it's choose terminal paste it and hit enter and here you see it will start the download I think the snap install within Ubuntu is much better way to install so you should go there right instead of going through typical your Debian package method or through downloading that particular installer right now that we have installed it clear it and then type in pwsh and here we have powershell okay so when you want to call powershell you type in pwsh and it should take you to powershell within your terminal now here you see it will show you the home directory right here now you can test some of the powershell commands like get dash process make sure that get and gnpr uppercase and when you hit enter it should show you the list of processes that are running in the background right and it will have its own table and process name at the end as you can see this is pretty big list you can use clear and it should take you to the prompt now you can also try out another command like get service and here you see it's not recognized so some of the commands may not be working so let's try another one which is get dash location let's see if it's there and as you can see like pwd it will also show you the current directory so get location now let's see if get dash history works so get dash history it will show you some of the commands that are already used within powershell right now let's clear this let's see if some of the linux commands work so ls shows the list of directories available so ls and you can see that command works as well now let's clear this now what about pwd and here you see it works same as your get location now then comes let's say who am i and it should show you the username that is running the current instance of or you can see current login user right so another thing is typing ps what it will show is process ids Right. so bash pwsh and ps are running that will be displayed in the terminal now here if i want to see history there is one more command which is history which is from linux terminal which also works in powershell so hit enter and you will see all the commands that you have added within this current section so find out which of the commands work which don't work i'm sure eventually all of the powershell command uh, with some changes may be ported to 
Linux version of uh, Shell as well.